So maybe you're trying to figure out what career you might be interested in pursuing. Or maybe you're in one career and you want to start exploring what different options exist out there. No matter what stage you're at in your career exploration, the Focus to Career Assessment can be a really useful tool. Today's video will be a general overview of the Focus to Career Assessment, what it is, what its purpose is, and what it can start help you exploring. So what is the purpose of the Focus to Career Assessment? The purpose is to assist you with the career exploration phase of your journey so that you can make informed decisions about your future. Career exploration is something that you may do many times in your life, but it's especially relevant now early on in your academic career. Career exploration is important in helping you identify potential career paths that you might want to take, the education and skills required of the industry, and the majors you can consider studying to get there. The Focus 2 is a self-guided career, major, and education planning system designed to guide you through the steps of the career planning process. The Focus 2 is organized into eight different assessments or questionnaires with results that will help you understand careers that align with your personal skills, interests, and values. You can use the Focus 2 at any stage of your career, as many times as you want, based on your personal needs. Important warning, it is important to note that while assessments are very useful, they're not always 100% accurate. We encourage you to use these assessments to prompt exploration and critical thought, but not to let them dictate how you should feel or act. Here are three specific challenges to consider. One, results are impacted by how you're feeling at any given moment. If you're having a bad day, your answers may trend lower in confidence. Two, humans are complex and change over time. Who you are and what you are interested in today may change seven years from now as you advance in your experience and skills. Three, results rely solely on your input and don't bring in a 360 perspective of you where others can weigh in on your strengths and limitations. Sometimes we can't see ourselves clearly. At the end of the day, the most important thing is to trust yourself. You know you better than anyone else, including an assessment. Use the assessment results as information, not as a deciding factor in who you are or what you're good at. There's always room to grow and cultivate the career of your dreams. So how does it work? So there's a lot of different features that you can utilize on Focus 2. Again, this video is going to be more of a general overview, but we do have other videos that do describe these assessments in more detail. Um, but when you first log into the Focus 2, you're going to see your dashboard. Your dashboard is organized into sections that align with a typical career planning process. You can start with the career planning foundations. That's the first set of assessments that you'll see on the page. These three assessments evaluate one, your level of involvement in the career planning process. Two, what subjects you're good at. And three, your personal career readiness. The self-assessment portion of the Focus to Career has five different assessments that evaluate your work interests values, personality, skills, and leisure. These assessments will be used to identify potential careers that may align with your specific results. The next thing you'll see is an explore the possibilities section. Once you have an idea of a few different career paths, here you can explore and compare occupations and majors to see if they are a good fit. Next, you'll have a take action section. This section is a place where you can document your education, awards, research, campus involvement, internships, jobs, volunteer work, and network contacts. You can document both past and present experiences and include future goals. The career and education planning results section is where you can easily find any occupations and majors of interest that you have saved. 
Your assessment results are also stored here, so you can refer to them at any time. The final section that you'll see is the recommended tools and website section at the bottom of your home page. This final area is a reference area for external job boards to research different opportunities. And that's it. Hopefully this was a helpful overview of the focus to career assessment. As I said in the beginning of this video, this video is just a very brief overview of what the focus to can do. Um, if you're still wondering some more details about the specific assessments, how to take them, what they really measure, please review our other videos to explore the other assessments more in depth. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or need any sort of assistance with your career exploration or any other career-related needs, and you're an HCCC student, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And remember, all stuff is career stuff.